My name is Lewis Holliday and I am the brake systems engineer for McLaren Automotive. One department makes you want to go in that direction as fast as possible with the engine and my job is to stop you going in that direction as fast as possible. When you're working on track, it's incredibly important to keep all of your brake components as cool as possible. And the reason for that is to reduce fade and reduce wear. And it's very challenging for a car like the 765LT because of the performance and the energy going in. What you want to use is uh, specifically designed brake cooling ducts to direct airflow to certain areas and certain components to make sure that they're cool and working within their operating temperature during a full track lap. The 765 LT, we had quite an interesting challenge. We were very limited on space, so our design and execution of our brake cooling ducts had to be with pinpoint accuracy, collecting the available free stream air that we could take and direct it towards the pads and discs. We'd usually want to put brake ducts in a nice free stream of air, and generally this happens at sort of the lowest points of the car. What we actually found is during our CFD analysis that there was a pocket of air, a very small pocket of air, just above the upper wishbone. So we designed a duct to fit in that very, very small pocket. We went to track with some prototype parts and did a back-to-back -back with nothing and found out that this pocket of air was perfect to be able to keep our brake operating temperatures within the correct limits. It's nothing we've done on a McLaren vehicle before, so it's quite unique to this particular model. And why is that important? So it's all the available air going to the vehicle needs to be used for something you can't waste air hitting the car. So we need to be very precise on what we can take and what we need to let flow through the car to be able to create downforce instead of taking away downforce to add cooling. It's really important to reduce the system temperatures of the brakes so that we're always delivering a consistent pedal feel on track. So we try to limit the amount of fade that we see. Ultimately, that leads to a vehicle that is very capable on track, has a very consistent brake pedal, and gives the driver confidence of going lap after lap with knowing that the brake pedal and the brake system will always be there for them.